Hey planners, it's Teo Shante Plans and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be planning the week of March 4th to the 10th and using a kit from GP Sticker Studio. This kit is called Lux Life. I thought this would be perfect for this week because I wanted something kind of neutral. Um, spring is getting ready to pop up on us in about two weeks. And so I'm definitely planning to use some more very spring specific kits in the next coming weeks. Um, but since we are wrapping up the end of winter and I live in Southern California, so it's not really snowy or anything like that. We are getting a little bit of rain, which is nice. Um, but the weather for the most part isn't really like cold, cold. So I decided instead of doing something kind of winter themed because I'm a little bit over it, I would go with something pretty much neutral. And that's what I love about this kit because it's literally just basic neutral colors. Um, and I think it's very also very office chic and I just love that in the design of this kit. And so I'm going to use this. These are the full boxes and down at the bottom here we've got some headers. Um, this is one of the functional pages. We've got some checklist, uh, a Monday through Sunday tracker, these labels that I adore, uh, the square boxes, push pins, lots of other great icons, page flags, headers, um, and then the habit trackers as well, kiss cut icons, appointment labels, uh, to do in today headers, glitter headers, weekend banners, and on this page we've got our bottom washi and cut washi. So really excited about using this kit. I think that Gabby from GP Sticker Studio just has such a great design eye. She puts things together in a way that I wouldn't be able to, but everything she does, it, it always, it just grabs my attention. I think she's just so good at designing sticker kits. So anyways, now that I have raved on and on about this, let's grab our bottom washi and get started. As I am putting down the bottom washi and headers, I want to take a quick moment to say hello to all my new planner friends and followers who may have found me through the Mixed Metals Challenge coming from either Amanda or Lauren or Viv's channel. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out my channel and I hope that if you enjoy my plan with me, you will subscribe. And I do upload weekly and so my Mixed Metals video will be up next this coming Sunday. I may try to get it up sooner if I can um, so that you guys can see my Mixed Metals Challenge but definitely check out my Instagram because I will have the pictures and things posted there before they hit YouTube. All right, so we've got our bottom washi down, headers are down, the headers are from Chic Blossom Prints, and now I am moving on into the sidebar. For the sidebar, I'm starting with my quote box and then placing down one of the gold glitter headers from the kit. Then I'm gonna create my Instagram tracking section. Since being on two PR teams, I have really been trying to stay on top of doing my social media posts. For the PR team, so I'm creating that first Instagram section so that I can track that. My next section will track my dinners, and I'm using the Monday through Sunday tracker from the kit for that. And then I'm going to put down two habit trackers, one for working out and another to make sure I'm taking my prescription so I don't forget. And the script stickers that I'm using, the Instagram one is from Letters to Apollo. And as I said, I am on her PR team. So you can find my 10% discount code in the description box. The dinner and workout script stickers for, from Nicole Hutch Designs. Moving on to Monday, I put down a pink header from the kit along with that work laptop sticker so that I can prove my time card because Friday is payday. Underneath there, I wanted to mark a hydrate challenge that we were doing at work and I wanted to make sure I remember to track how much water I was doing for that challenge. Then I'm putting down a half box. It was in this moment that I realized I did not order the half boxes from the kit, which I could not believe. Um, because I usually order that page when I order a la carte. But anyways, I wanted to create a packing checklist because my husband and I are getting ready to move. And then I'm going to start scattering my full boxes. So I've got Tuesday's full box at the top, Wednesday's at the bottom. I'm placing Thursday's full box kind of at the top. And I really enjoy scattering my full boxes so that it breaks up my each day into full columns because I don't like separating my days into three rows. I like more of kind of a free form style with my planning. And so I'll usually use my full boxes or half boxes or something to cover up the lines that break up the days into rows. 
And now that I've got all of my full boxes down, I'm going to use a quarter box and a movie night sticker from the kit to mark that on Friday I'm going to see Captain Marvel. And those black half boxes and quarter boxes I've put down came from the Happy Planner sticker book, uh, the Colorful Boxes sticker book. And so on Monday, I put down a reminder sticker from the kit for an important phone call I needed to make. And then on Thursday, I wanted to mark that I was 30 days away from my vacation. And so I wanted to start my countdown. I'm going on a cruise to the Palmas and I'm really excited. Back to Monday, I'm putting down a page flag from the kit along with the workout shoe and weight sticker. Then moving on to Tuesday, I'm using a glitter header from Artbox Stickers along with a appointment label sticker from the kit. And I'm going to mark that it is $2 Tuesday. I'm going to mark that first with this cute little planner sticker, but I am going to change my mind on that one a little bit later. But I do want to note that it is $2 Tuesday. Underneath there, I'm using an important header from the kit along with a half box. I needed to remind myself to go onto the DMV website and update some information. So I didn't want to forget that. I'm using a little car icon from the kit. Moving over to Wednesday, I'm putting down a glitter header from the kit along with one of the washi, la washi labels, <laughs> washi strips, and then using the balloons from the kit. And then this happy birthday script is from Letters to Apollo. Absolutely adore her handwriting. It's written so beautifully. And it was my mommy's birthday. And then I'm putting down an appointment label and adding an Instagram icon from Artbox Stickers. I'm also on her PR team. And so you'll find her discount code in the description box as well. And then putting down an asterisk to mark that I wanted to listen to the latest episode of the Royal Caribbean blog podcast uh, because there was an episode dedicated to the massive updates that happened to the ship that I will be sailing on in April. So I was excited to hear that podcast podcast and then I'm putting down my weekend banner and I love this weekend banner I love the way the hello is written that script that font so cute back on Wednesday I'm putting down a couple of washi strips and adding this really cute Kate Spade vase and flower sticker it's one of my favorite stickers it's from the sweet planner and I swear I would use that sticker on every single spread if I could it's like one of those cute little deco stickers that I just love to place everywhere so I'm also putting it on Thursday along with a planner stack from planner pixie co and just using that to mark planning next week Thursdays are my usual planning night and then on Friday, I'm putting down a washi strip from the kit along with this cute little wallet sticker from GP Sticker Studio and marking that it is payday. And this is where I decided to change my mind about the uh, sticker from Tuesday because I realized I had this adorable little Etsy sticker on a freebie uh, that I came across and I was like, that would be so cute for marking $2 Tuesday. So I decided to swap it out and that is from Planning Roses. On Tuesday, I'm going to take some white out and get rid of those lines, then put down a washi strip from the kit and add a to-do script. I want to create kind of a free-form little to-do reminder list for myself, um, but instead of using a checklist, I'm just going to use some icons. And I'm starting with a laptop icon from the kit. I wanted to remind myself to submit a claim that I needed to turn in. And then underneath there, I'm using the grocery sticker from the kit. And I wanted to run to Walmart and pick up a couple of things. And then underneath there, I wanted to um, film and take some pics for Instagram. And I'm using a washi strip from the kit for that. And along with a camera icon sticker. And that is from Artbox Stickers. On Wednesday, I'm using a long printed page flag along with a work script from GP Sticker Studio. Uh, we were going to pull and exchange birthday names at work so that um, when each person's birthday in our department comes up, everyone is assigned to like decorate their desk and get them a cake. And then at the bottom of Wednesday, I'm using one of these Work It Girl workout stickers from GP Sticker Studio. And it's so cute. I love that it says Work It Girl and it's got the little weights. I, I'm not like doing any like serious weightlifting, but just like basic aerobics. But I thought the sticker was cute. Um, on Thursday, I am making myself a little checklist. And so I'm using the work header along with some um, hearts from that are left over from the Regina last kit I used last week and I was making myself a checklist of some things that I need to do for work actually work was kind of a busy day for me on Thursday and so it's actually going to dominate quite a bit of this section of my planner so I'm putting down this glitter header and then adding one of these square boxes from the kit along with a reminder script sticker from Paper Panda 
and then I'm gonna add the little thumbtack push pin, which I think is so cute and clever. I love really kind of unique stickers that you don't often see in, in kits, and I think that that push pin is just adorable, but I needed a reminder for something else I needed to do for work, and so I put that down. Then on Friday, I'm using a page rack from the kit along with a shopping script from Paper Panda, and it just marked down a couple of errands I needed to run, Dollar Tree and the Beauty Supply. And then I'm using a washi strip right above that and got to move over to Saturday. Put down a sleep mask from Art Box Stickers along with a sleep in script, which is also from Art Box Stickers. Sleeping in on Saturdays is what I look forward to weekends for. And then underneath there, I'm using a um, glitter header from the kit. Using a little box icon from a previous kit, so this is left over in my stash, and I wanted to make note to start packing because we are moving at the end of the month, so I wanted to start packing up things that I knew we wouldn't need or be using anytime soon. Um, and then underneath there, I used whiteout to get rid of those lines and added a label sticker from the kit along with this cute little bucket with cleaning tools in it. Uh, that sticker is so stinking cute I <laughs> just wanted to make note to clean up the kitchen just the usual Saturday chores underneath there I'm using a teardrop from the kit and this cute little polish sticker from the sparkly planner and just making note to paint my nails and I'm gonna use a couple of headers to create the look of kind of a label sticker I was so sad that I forgot to order those half boxes guys I cannot even tell you uh, but I thought this was kind of a creative way to give myself kind of a half box look that was a little bit different so I'm using those headers and adding um, the little camera icon uh, because I wanted to remind myself to film and get some editing done actually it did not get that filming or editing done <laughs> my Saturday evening did not quite go as planned but it was pretty chill so it was awesome moving back to Friday I'm putting down a label sticker I wanted to speak with my manager about some things I needed to have confirmed and so I made note of that and then underneath there I'm using that happy birthday script sticker to mark that it was one of my co-workers birthdays which is why we did that birthday name exchange on Wednesday uh, which we should have done at the beginning of the year but we kind of procrastinated that and then realized our first birthday in our department was coming up so we had to get on top of that on Saturday I'm marking that it is daylight savings time is starting and we're losing an hour of sleep which I seriously felt and I know I'm gonna feel again on Monday going to work underneath there I am marking that my plan with me video is gonna go live on Sunday as it usually does and then underneath there I'm using a pink header along with a reminder script and a heart from the kit the reminder script is from paper panda uh, and I wanted to remind myself that my niece and nephew they're twins and I'm sure throw twins fundraiser they're having a little popcorn fundraiser from their school and I want to remind myself to order some popcorn from my little kiddos and underneath there I'm putting down some washi strips from the kit along with this little plant sticker that actually came with the kit and I cut off the words that were attached with it so I just wanted the plant to remind myself to pay our gardener and then using a washi strip underneath there to finish off the page and that completes my spread for this week. I love how this came together and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys taking the time out to watch my videos. And since we have reached the end, it is time for a sneak peek at the kit that I will be using next week. For the week of March 11th through the 17th, I did opt to not use a St. Patrick's Day kit for this week. Um, I will be marking the day, but I didn't want to use a um, kit for the entire week that was St. Patrick's Day themed. I will instead be using this beautiful kit from Paper Muse Crafts and it, it is her chic kit and I have three pages in this mini kit and they're all beautifully foiled in rose gold foil and also this week I have created a planner challenge with Amanda from My Life Stuck on Paper, Lauren from Plan Most Plan, and Viv from Viv Loves to Plan. We will all be doing a mixed metal challenge this week and we invite you guys to join in with us. All you have to do is pick your two favorite foils and 
put them together uh, in your planner layout and use it for this week. And then share your spread on Instagram and tag Mix Metals Challenge. If you want more info on that, my link to my Instagram is in the description box and you can check it out there and get more info on the challenge. I'm so excited to see what everyone comes up with and really excited to plan this week. As usual, the plan with me video for this layout will go up on the 17th. So I hope you guys will come back then and check that video out. Thanks again for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you next video. Bye.